Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, we start with asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms. The pictures depicted here represent the birth of offspring via sexual reproduction, which involves both male and female organisms. But do all organisms reproduce in this way? Let's explore. What do you think is common between all these organisms? Yes, you are right if you said they reproduce asexually. Well, this method of reproduction by a single organism is called asexual reproduction. So let's understand the process of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the formation of genetically identical offsprings from the cell of a single parent. Since there is only one organism involved, there is no fusion of gametes and no mixing of genetic information. Some of the parent organism's cells divide by mitosis, producing new cells that contain exactly the same genes as the parent cell. As a result, the offsprings are genetically identical to their parent and to each other. You must be wondering, what are the different types of asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms? Well, let's explore. Asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms are of three types. Binary fission, multiple fission and budding in yeast. Now let's understand each type in detail. The term binary means two and fission means splitting which means splitting into two. In this method, the nucleus of the parent organism, an amoeba depicted as an example, elongates. The nucleus and cytoplasm splits or divides into two and then the cell splits across, forming two small identical cells called daughter cells. Multiple fission is a process where unlike binary fission, several individuals emerge from a single cell. This kind of division takes place during unfavorable conditions. The nucleus divides mitotically to produce a large number of daughter nuclei. Each nucleus, along with a little bit of cytoplasm, forms a membrane around it. This process takes place inside a cyst, which is a protective wall formed around the organism. Under favorable conditions, the cyst breaks open, liberating the daughter cells. Typical examples are bacteria, plasmodium, chlorella, etc. Yeast is a unicellular fungus that performs budding. The parent cell produces a small outgrowth on its surface called a bud. The parent nucleus starts to divide mitotically into daughter nuclei. This daughter nuclei enters into the bud and grows into a daughter cell. Soon, chain of such buds are formed which upon becoming big separates from the parent cell to have an independent life as new yeast cells. The topic asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms will be dealt in detail in our upcoming video. We encourage you to explore the tutorial summary which provides a quick insight into what we have learned. The keywords highlighted help reinforce learning. The following assessment is the key to gauge what we have imbibed. Kudos to you if you have managed to answer all. If not, revisiting the tutorial will help reinforce concepts. Thanks for watching. If you find the content of the video useful, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos.